Number six, you're going to find the missing length here. Leave your answers as a radical in simplest form, no decimals. These are all 30, 60, 90 triangles. This is a special right. To do this, we should remember our formulas here. There are two, e there are two equations for the 30, 60, 90. It is hypotenuse equals the shorter leg times 2, and the longer leg equals the shorter leg times radical 3. Just to remind you here what I mean by the short leg and the long leg. Remember that the 30 tells you the relationship to the opposite side. So this is 30, the smallest angle. So this is going to be the smallest side, SL. Then we have the 60, which is going to be the larger one. So this is going to be the longer leg. Then lastly, this is opposite to that 90, which is going to be the hypotenuse okay please keep this in reference as we are working through the equations all right okay let's see the first one here we know that this is the longer leg because it is opposite to that 60 this is long leg then we know that this is the hypotenuse because it's opposite to the 90 therefore this makes this the 30 opposite there this would be the short leg all right so here are two our equations hypotenuse equals short leg times two we have the hypotenuse which is u we have sl short leg which is eight times two so u is equal to 16. now we can write the long leg is equal to the short leg times radical three we can plug in the long leg here as v your short leg was 8 times radical 3. That would just be your final answer as 8 radical 3. Okay. I'm going to bring down, bring this to B as we work on it. All right. Now let's just label it. Okay. This is the 60. So the 60 will give us the X as the long leg the opposite to that 90 which is the hypotenuse as 8 radical 5 and then we have the 30 degrees so that y is going to be your short leg okay let's write down our two formulas here hypotenuse equal a short leg times 2 and then we have long leg equals the short leg times radical 3 okay let's plug in some values here we have the hypotenuse as 8 radical 5 is equal to y times 2, okay? We can solve for the short leg, which is just y, divide by 2, divide by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so it's 4 radical 5, which is equal to y. And remember, this is the short leg. 4 radical 5 is y, which is also the short leg. We can now solve for the long leg. Long leg is equal to the short leg, which we figure out as 4 radical 5 times radical 3. This is long leg is equal to 4 times radical 15. So there you go. That would be your answer. And let's do the last one here. Okay. All right. So we have opposite to the 60 would be the long leg then opposite to that 90 will be the hypotenuse and opposite to that 30 is going to be the short leg let's write down the two formulas hypotenuse is equal to short leg times 2 and then we have long leg is equal to the short leg times radical 3 all right okay Hypotenuse is x. The short leg here is y times 2. Long, and I can't solve this equation. There's two unknowns. So let's do the other one. Long leg, we have that as 5 radical 3 equals short leg, which is y times radical 3. Okay, we could solve this. There's only one unknown. Divide by radical 3, divide by radical 3. Radical 3 does cancel out with the radical 3 on bottom, which gets you y is equal to 5. Remember, the 5 radical 5 here is the long leg, the short leg. 
So now we can just plug it in here. X is equal to Y was just five and times two. So X is equal to 10. So the hypotenuse here would just be 10. All right. And there you go. That is how we find the missing sides for a 30, 60, 90 triangle.